Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our second example with a circuit that contains a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor, 10 ohms, 5 henrys, 0.002 farads. And again, we're trying to find the characteristic roots, the natural frequency, and we need to determine the type of damping we find in this particular circuit. It's usually always a good idea to start with finding the damping factor and by finding the natural frequency. So the damping factor, by definition, is equal to the resistance divided by twice the inductance. So in this case, that's equal to 10 divided by 2 times 5, which is 10 over 10, which is equal to 1, which is a relatively small damping factor. So I'm suspecting it might be under damping. But let's now find the natural frequency. Omega is equal to 1 over the square root of L times C, which is equal to 1 over the square root of L, which is 5, and C, which is 0 0.002, which is equal to 1 over the square root of 0 0.01, taking the square root of that, which is equal to 1 over 10. Uh, let's see here. No, not 1 over 10. It's equal to 1 over 0 0.1, 0 0.1, which is equal to 10. There we go. Since our damping factor is smaller than the natural frequency, this would then indicate that it's underdamped. So we have determined the natural frequency, we have determined that it's underdamped because we have a small damping factor relative to the natural frequency, and finally the characteristic roots. We can see that S1 and S2 can be determined by taking the negative of the damping factor and then plus or minus, plus for the one, minus for the other, times the square root of the damping factor squared minus the natural frequency squared. So in this case, this is equal to, for S1, we'll take a one at a time, for S1, we have the negative damping factor of one, so we have minus one plus or minus the square root of one squared minus omega squared, which is 10 squared, and there you can right away see it. We're going to end up with a, a negative number underneath the radical, so it's going to be a complex number. So this is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of minus 99. So this is equal to, and again, since we're looking just for one of them, we don't need the negative option. We only want the positive option. So take the square root of 99, which is 9.94. Well, 9.95, that's good enough. So this is going to be uh, 1, or negative 1, plus J9.95. So that would be S1. And notice that is indeed a complex number. And then we find S2, which is equal to uh, minus 1, minus the square root of, an, uh, that would be 1 squared minus 10 squared. That would be equal to minus 1 minus the square root of a negative 99. Of course, a negative underneath the radical. That will give us a, um, a complex number. So this is equal to minus 1 minus J9.95. And that would be the other characteristic root. Notice both characteristic roots are indeed complex numbers, indicating we have an underdamped system. And that is how it's done.